Glory. When she first came to New York from Minnesota, she just wanted any sort of attention. I think to her, the quickest way to get that was to be a prostitute. She always wanted fame, but I don't think she had really put the time into figuring out how to get there. Hey, land the lakes, girl. Wanna make a quick hundred? Hundred for what? A one-day wonder. A real movie? We've been watching her throughout season two on the rise in her porn career. And when we leave off, we see her go to LA. In season three, she wants to be treated as a star and be in power. She's starting to realize that she's basically just a prop to be sexualized. It's my name on the box that sells your product. I'm not some bimbo who's willing to do anything just to be in a movie. She's actually gotten fame. She's gotten real attention. And she's close to a life that she would have wanted to choose, but just kind of on the outside of that. She's losing the attention. She's losing the money. These, you know, petals keep kind of falling off. This thing doesn't last forever. This year, you start to realize she's not completely untalented. Why don't you try sending me out for some actual legit work? I can do other stuff. She also is now really stuck in a world that is really hard to get out of. I can answer in a room with the story and everything. Yeah, I know, baby, you a star. <laughs> Any questions I had about Lori in season one and who she was, I feel like they really got answered over time. The overall process, it wasn't just three seasons, it was nearly five years. We've gone from one point in our lives to another, and then the characters have gone from one point even further. For me, I think I'm most proud and excited for this year for Lori and what she gets to do.